Hello there, how are you? I'm Larian Haddock, and welcome to another free game retrospective. Today, we're talking about a game I picked up for free from Epic Games on the 22nd of December 2023. Time to have a relax, go back to the past, and change the future. It's time to play Art of Rally. Also, let me know how you feel about not having the intro and outro in this episode. Should it come back? Shorter? Also, like, comment, subscribe, and share. No, I feel dirty saying that. Now, I love my Formula 1 and other forms of racing, and I do love a good sim, but what we have here is an artful foray into the history of Rally. Developed and published by Fun Selector Labs, it runs through the golden age of Rally in an alternate history where the Group B monsters weren't banned. Its art style is beautiful, the polygonal, minimalist lines of the cars are great, and the peg people that you can never run over are always an entertaining addition to a tight corner. The way they have included details such as your brake discs lighting up under heavy braking, especially during night rallies, it looks incredible, and it's something that a lot of people would overlook when designing the game. Other highlights of the fantastic art style include the use of headlights as you're flying past vineyards in the night. The way the shadows dance is mesmerising, which is also affected by the time of day, painting the landscape in different hues. The free roam game mode truly allows you to take in the beauty of the game and have a relaxing drive or push hell for leather trying out a freshly unlocked car to get a feel for it. The unlocking of cars as the competition years progress is great. There'll be ones you recognise and some that you don't. And clearly not licensed as you can tell by the names, but coming across the Sierra Cosworth, cosy in game, gave me a flash to the past. Let's not forget the German Das cars, or the infamous Scooby named the Fujin in this. In the years since early game generations, it's often something that the younger generation hasn't seen. Unlicensed games. EA had the FIFA rights, leading to Pro Evo having the infamous Man Red, Man Blue, and slightly off-named players. But in recent years, I don't know if it's because these entities that sell the naming rights have been easier or cheaper for getting them, or whether those games are paying a fortune just for that. Or the more likely scenario, that the big ones in those genres stifle out the smaller attempts, as no one can afford the licensing. I mean, I do miss the days of Ristiano, Cronaldo and Dwayne Mooney. In fact, the lack of paying for licenses does mean you get just little simple ads like petrol. That's it. Makes more sense than Patronus, you know, unless you know what they do. You can see a name like that and it can mean anything. Petrol. Efficient. To the point. It's what we do. It does also allow a bit of a shameless self-plug, with Fun Selector often present as a nice reminder as to who brought you the game. The physics of the world are great. Cars drive differently, surfaces affect grip, and it has quite a decent little damage model. From tyre punctures to serious suspension damage, you know, drifting you one way or the other. With the addition of repair sections along the rallies, it can often become ensuring that you don't sustain too much damage, more than getting there quickest. If you don't finish, you can't ever win. Of course, whilst flying through the air or rolling your car, you'll notice something underneath your car. Each car has a different hashtag, and it reminds me of, I believe, Eddie Jordan infamously touting that idea for an F1 car. Sponsorships on the floor, because they were always upside down. I will admit when running through the career rallies that I often found the lack of a co-driver, you know, a bit of a problem. When I appear at a hairpin at 70 miles an hour and I haven't even started braking yet. I mean, even, you know, older classic rally games had differently coloured arrows to indicate the severity of an upcoming corner, and it may have been a nice addition. I mean, also, maybe some camera changes? I mean, these two things are the only negatives I've really come across, and to be honest, they're both super minor. Music and sound are great. Nice relaxing music whilst in free room, and the engine noises, and again, little things like turbo whistle, dump valve noises, and exhaust pops sound amazing. Nothing better than a faux Sierra Cosworth with its turbo whine and exhaust pops as you drift yourself around a corner. Overall, Art of Rally is a fantastically relaxing experience. A competitive rally journey through the ages that I can't recommend enough. Especially if you want a 5 minute relaxing game. Not like 5 minutes of toxicity in something like Rocket League, which I will come back to that in the future. But yeah, if you, if you picked it up for free, give it a download and try it out. At $19.99 on both Epic and Steam, it may be worth waiting for a sale before picking it up if you don't already have it. So, I mean, there we have it. This week's free game retrospective, and I've been Larian Haddock. See you next time.